Look at that. I just finished installing a new engine oil pan in my 1980 W126 280SE Euro sedan. Now remember, this car's 37 years old, and I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, Kent, why did you bother putting on a new pan? Well, if you saw some of my other videos, you know, take a look. It was obvious that from the damage that I needed to do something. I, I certainly wanted to get in there and look and see if anything else had been damaged, like the oil pump inside the pan and you can see it again here you know it's pretty nasty <laughs> you can see the difference between this old one and the new one i installed but during this job i realized there are three reasons why you would want to remove an engine oil pan on an old car like this okay <laughs> three number one of course would be if it's damaged you might have some other damage in there but a lot of times if these things get dented you can't get all the engine oil out when you do oil changes. So I highly recommend you change the pan if there's obvious damage to it. The other reason, you get leaks on that gasket. You know, once again, over 30 years old, you'll have a gasket that'll start weeping oil and you need to replace the gasket. So a lot of times, if there's any damage, go ahead and replace the pan, get a new pan. But the third reason, you, you may have not thought about very much, but these pans get really filthy with old sludge and emulsified engine oil. For instance, look here when I removed the pan. Look at what was in the bottom of the pan. Now that's not gonna come out with an oil extractor. It's certainly not gonna come out by draining the pan. And you would see that and you'd get really concerned and say, wow, you know, there's water getting into my oil. Well, stop and think a little bit here. You need to know about the history of the car. The car's been parked a lot. It's in a high moisture environment. It gets started up, doesn't get driven a lot. A lot of moisture in the engine that doesn't get you know, cleaned out during long driving periods. So that didn't concern me because I knew the history of this car and it sat for quite a long time without being run. So if you get a car like this that you know hasn't been driven a lot or hasn't been a daily driver or maybe had gotten infrequent oil changes, I would pull the pan to clean it out because <laughs> it's the only way you're going to get it clean. And of course, you saw from in what was inside the pan, that was probably a very good idea. So. What I've done is I've gone through and I've put together a kit on how to do this yourself. It includes uh, complete video instructions. But I also want to show you there's a couple other things I put on this pan that are pretty neat. And uh, this one item, which is this pad heater, it's an engine oil heater that goes on the bottom of the pan. It only takes, you know, 15 minutes to install. That can be another great reason to reduce moisture buildup in your engine oil on a car that does not get driven a lot. So I want to show you now just how strong that magnetic drain plug is I put into this pan. Look at this. You cannot believe I'm going to use that around the shop just for a magnet to pick up stuff. Can you believe that little teeny bolt magnet will hold that entire ratchet wrench? So I recommend if you have, you know, a W126, W123, W114, 15 older type of Mercedes, that may have some of the similar traits of Fritz here, I recommend you go ahead and pull the pan. You don't necessarily have to buy a new pan, but at least get a pan gasket and pull it, do an inspection, and replace the gasket and clean everything out. Now, we have everything available on my website, new pans, gaskets. I've got these pad heaters, magnetic drain plugs. I highly recommend these magnetic drain plugs, by the way and everything you'll need, including video instructions on how to do this type of repair. So if you're interested in doing this job yourself, just follow the links I'll put in the description below this video.